do a full bath in here? By putting chairs on here, there was like so stupid. I totally missed this. Hey yo. Today I am being very lazy in The Sims 4 and I am going to be furnishing someone's unfurnished house. Someone's gotta do it. Just call me the interior designer, babes. So here is the house we are going to be furnishing today. Funny enough, you know who this house belongs to? The one, the only, Los Sims -y. My friend Kayla. I was looking for unfurnished houses and this is one of the most popular ones. And it's also so cute. Like this is like very my style. I'm really liking it and I'm so glad it's unfurnished. I, I just love the way it looks on the outside. And then on the inside, I am like loving this layout. Walk in, there's an entryway. There's a living room here. The kitchen's obviously here. You might be able to put like a dining room there, possibly. There's like a built-in desk area. This could be a bedroom. And then you go upstairs and this is the only part that's like unfortunate. This happens to me all the time. The roofs are always getting in the way. But luckily there's only one room and a bathroom up here. So so like, it's not really taking away too much. God, they gotta do something about this roof situation because every time I build something, the same thing happens. Most of the time I feel like we can avoid it, but lately I just feel like they are intruding way more than usual. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I just feel like this layout is really realistic and it's like cute and cozy and I just wanna have a good time. And I really wanna use the new kitchen items from the new stuff pack, the Home Chef Hustle one, because they're so beautiful. They've got like light on them so pretty so we'll see if we can use some of that in the kitchen before we do that let's go ahead and start in the little entryway here all the walls are white I don't know if I should change that or not it looks like my house freaking just white walls everywhere how about I keep them and I try to work around them I mean the good thing about white walls is that everything goes with it you could do any color in any room and you'll be fine so let's just go with it for now let's put a mirror down I love a mirror in the entryway do I want this one though I mean I like this one because I can put it in a corner. Otherwise, you know the one I would use. Boom, that one. Oh, maybe I will use it. It's just like, it's pretty flush to the wall, so it doesn't take up that much space. I'll use it. But I'm wondering if maybe I should move it over here and then have like a table here. That's probably what I would do. It's going to be kind of hard to not use white furniture because I just think it looks really nice with like the dark wood on the legs. I have to resist. There's already a lot of white happening. Okay, we'll go for like this light green. Okay, we'll put a nice wide painting right there. Oh, we should get a big candle right here. I love this candle. It's so pretty. I want one. Okay, a couple of clutter items on there. And I mean, maybe I can have a rug in here. I know there's one on the other side. Maybe something like in the middle of this room. Okay, moving along. I'm actually gonna put the family bulletin board here because it's like right when you walk in the house and I just feel like that's where it would be. Before I move into the living room, I guess I can go ahead and do this bathroom. Can I do a full bath in here? I... Maybe if I did a bathtub only, Ooh. I may have to move the door. I know it sets it off center a little bit, but I think it's fine. And that makes it functional. Cause I'm pretty sure you can actually get into the bathtub if the sink's on this side. Okay, mirror there, get some toilet paper. Oh, we can actually fit a little soap on there. Oh my gosh, cute. I didn't know I could put stuff on here. Wow, I can put other stuff too. I can put a toothbrush. Oh my God, cute. Okay, I think I'm just gonna size this down. Uh, actually, no. There's always this one. I love this thing. I just love a good, like, shelf moment above a toilet. I don't know. And then I'm gonna put this little guy here with the loofah and some sponges. That one's shaped like a cloud. Say no more. Also, I think I'm gonna just bring these in here. Just move this forward a little bit. Oh, now they're a little too matchy-matchy. Unless I change these, which I can. That looks pretty nice. Ooh, I like that color swatch. It sort of fits in there really well. Well, okay, this sort of doubles as like a get out of the bathtub mat and also in front of the sink mat. I think it works good. And moving right along, I'm going to continue to use these cats and dogs curtains because I just think that they're the best. Maybe I go pink in here. I also might just scooch this over a smidge. I know it lines up with this outside, but it's fine. Who's gonna know? Okay, so for the couches, do I want to do like this? and a love seat against the window. Ooh. Yes, I am liking that layout. Mm, indubitably. These sort of match. Or I could do like, oh, I actually don't know here. Maybe that. We'll just add in a little touch of blue just to spice it up. Okay, we need kind of a small end table here. This one does sort of clip, but I'm hoping that when we put a lamp, a lantern, what are these called? Lamps on them again. A lamp. I'm hoping once we put a lamp on here, it will hide the fact that it's clipping. That lamp is cute. Let's do that. The corner is just calling out to me for a giant plant. Maybe one of those. Maybe one of these. Maybe one of these. 
Yes, I like that one the most. Okay, so for a coffee table, should I do a round one? I feel like I need to do a round one or like a square one. Oh, but that's really big. Are the round ones gonna be that big? Oh, yeah, they're a little big. Except this one. Who's so small? You know what? Back to a normal coffee table it is. <laughs> And gosh, I need a rug or I cannot go on. <gasps> this rug is amazing. It's definitely gonna catch fire, but hey, we're just spicing up the game, all right? I'm gonna put this little tray on here from the book nook kit. Very cute. There is no TV on there. However, I'm gonna show you a little trick. If you get the flat panel tabletop TV, not the one that sticks to the wall, just this one. Control nine to raise it up. You can line it up. You go down with zero. You can line it up with this mirror, best you can, and put it on there. Now you may have a little bit of overhang with this, particular fireplace. Like you can see a little bit on the bottom and a little bit on the top, but like that looks pretty good. Okay, let's move on to the kitchen dining room. I'm assuming this is supposed to be where a table goes. You could do it like this or you could maybe do it like this. Let's see how they look. Okay, so that's how that would look and that's how this would look. Now, usually I'd wanna put a rug underneath that, but I don't think that would look good because there's a, literally a rug right there. Unless... We did a little round table. I think this, oh, actually this is not too big. I thought this was gonna be way too big for this spot. God, putting chairs on here there was like so stupid. No, <laughs> I don't like it at all. I'd rather try doing one of these like high tables on those. These are kind of cute. And then I'm pretty sure you use bar stools. That's kind of cute. Since there's not really room for an island. Oh, we can use these beautiful chairs. The only problem is I don't really like the swatches of this, which is a shame because I like the table. So I could either use this one or this one and I like both that fits really nicely maybe let's go with that and then we'll use these cute chairs you can put it at like a diagonal that's kind of fun again normally I would put like a rug underneath this even like a little round one actually you know what that really doesn't look that bad now that I'm seeing it if I did a square one would that look crazy okay I think square looks bad but I think round looks good not that I would ever recommend putting a fuzzy rug under a place we were gonna eat but like how cute is this rug like it's so cute the different colored chairs <laughs> I'm in this like mood lately where I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm over trendiness. Let's just like have a good time. Cause like, how fun is that? I want to do this in my own personal house. I really want all different colored dining chairs like this, like pastel ones. Cause come on, look how cute that looks. Okay, we've got some paintings on the wall and now we can properly move on to the kitchen. All right, so like I said, I really want to use the Home Chef Hustle stuff pack because it is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I didn't, even I didn't even see the dining table sitting there. My bad. I think I want to go for the blue kitchen because of gold hardware. It's amazing. So where am I going to put everything? I think stove is going to have to go there and then sink is going to go there. And it came with this incredible sink and this incredible stove, which matches. And it even has gold hardware too. I mean, I'm kidding. Okay, this one is fully gold. Now that's a little much. Some gold hardware would have been great, but that's fine. Now for upper cabinets, I don't know. It's crazy that they're like going too high. You can sort of like cheat it if I do this. Then the window gets covered, which is kind of sad. However, that does look pretty sick. What if I brought it around though? Like brought it around town? <gasps> the corner piece are shelves? I did not know that. I didn't know that. Okay, well that's not gonna work. But that's so cute. Oh, I did not know they were shelves. Okay, that's pretty cute, but I'm not gonna do that. So let's just do this. And then what I'll do is I'll use these curtains to sort of make it seem like uh, these are just in the right place. Sort of just like overlap them a bit. There we go. Now it looks like the window kind of starts there. And the yellow is actually cute. Yellow and blue go really well together. I might just keep the yellow. It's giving a little something. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and put this like dish drying rack thing over here. I never know if I should put it right behind the sink or like to the side. Personally, if this was in my house, I wouldn't be able to reach it. So I don't know. So what if I put it off to the side? Okay, when I was looking through all the objects, I totally missed this. This is a light with a shelf. That's amazing. Maybe I can squeeze it in right here. Blue, I don't know if that looks weird. It kind of does. That is seriously cool. I am like a little upset that I never noticed that before. It's really nice. Typically, I just use, you know, these lights. But for decor, that's cute. I just don't think it works in here, but I totally miss that. Wow. What I will do though is put some little paintings behind the sink just to fill in the space. I literally might size this down to like tiny, tiny size just to like have something back here. I don't know. I just feel like it needs something. I do also need a trash can. There's not a lot of really great places for a trash can. So maybe there, I guess. I'm not loving that, but I really don't know like where else 
how we put it. I'm gonna put this little cookbook thing here. I hope that doesn't block the drying rack. How about there? That's a better spot. We can stack some plates or something back here. How about we actually put those plates there and then maybe I can squeeze in like a small plant. There we go, that looks nice. And then I'm gonna leave the rest of it open. Okay, there's only one last thing I wanna do. I really wanna have some stuff up here on top of the fridge. Even if it's just this like one thing. I just wanna have some clutter up there. Okay, well that's the cutest rug I've ever seen in my life. Why am I sleeping on this rug? It's literally a base game rug. It's so good. It has the cutest cutest watches. I didn't even know it was so good. Anyways, let's just change the color of this desk. I sort of like how it looks built into the wall. That's kind of nice. I may just bring this same curtain over here. Oh, that does look nice. All right, that looks good. I could bring in the pink from over here or I could do a fun little green moment. I'm loving all the different pastels. I'm having a lot of fun. Let's give them a computer. Let's maybe give them like a lamp. Okay, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting about so many amazing objects. This is too cute. Maybe some clutter there. Oh wait, that looks good. I've got like a tablet and stuff. Oh, maybe they are an artist. Love it. We've got this little pin pal board up here. And honestly, I think that's great. Moving on into the first bedroom. I have no idea what the vibes are gonna be like in here. I could continue with the fun theme though and do this bed. I could. This is almost like a darker blue color. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm realizing this room is not very big. So I have to be pretty selective with what I do here can get this dresser because it's like really narrow. I'm actually starting to wonder if I should switch this room around because I actually think it gives me more room if I do that. I might be able to leave the dresser there actually if it doesn't look weird. It might look weird. Okay, no, no, no. I think it's still looking pretty cozy. I thought it would look a little cramped, but it actually looks fine. Okay, got some clutter on there. I got some like puzzles, which I think is really cute. I brought this in here because I love this item. <laughs> it doesn't really fit any of the themes, but I just think it's so cute. Since we ended up putting Putting this mirror in the entryway, I thought now would be a really good time to bring back the other one. We've got tons of room in here to work with. We can stick it right in the corner. It's gorgeous. We can even fit an easel in here. This person is an artiste, remember. Okay, I've got a couple of paintings on the walls. I put these little baskets of flowers on the floor. I just think they're very cute. And there we go, that is that room complete. That's the whole downstairs complete. Boop. Now we go upstairs. Again, a little hard to see up here because the roof is all weird in this game. Figured we'll just throw up some paintings on the walls. Best that I can at least with the, with the camera going doing, doing, doing. All right, another bathroom. This one's got like a diagonal wall so I feel like this one's bigger yeah we can fit in one of these no problem maybe put the toilet over there and then on this side we can put the sink just clip a little in there but I think it's fine that is a tight squeeze for that mirror but it fits it fits I'm gonna put this little collage of paintings right there just because it fits like shockingly well for the paper right next to the toilet I could put this little towel hanging rack and it's cute and I like the colors shut up look at that rug literally shut up okay I'm using that one. Oh my god so cute and last but not least we have this rug Room, which I am going to make a kid's room. This one, I'm going to give like a green sort of vibe. I'm almost mixing this like lime-ish green with this dark green. But I do have to remember that this is a kid's room. We're trying to have fun. What better fun than having a little kitty cat? <laughs> And how about a little dollhouse? I love this barn. It's so cute. I'm gonna leave it red. You know, I've never changed the swatch of these before. Look how cute they are. Here, they can track how tall they are. Ooh, that's the one. The little art projects they made. Maybe some more clouds at the top. How about a little end table? And then I really love this moon lamp. Isn't that stunning? Okay, we definitely need some sort of rug in here. Now, I did just recently find out that I've been sleeping on this rug, okay? Oh my gosh, these swatches are amazing. None of them really match the theme though. Not that I really know what the theme is, but this is also a good contender. Like we've got a lot of checkered patterns, which are cool. I'm not sure if it fits the vibe. You're adding in like another green color in there. What I have been doing is just like sort of putting these everywhere and then just changing the swatches. Like that's kind of cool. It doesn't really match the curtains. That one I guess matches the curtains a little bit more. I like the idea that the grass with the flowers is like with the barn here. Well, it's definitely something, isn't it? And then maybe we can put a little mirror. And how about this teddy bear chair? Are you kidding me? And just because I need plants in every room, I don't think this is necessary for a kid's room, but it's necessary for me. I am gonna put... Oh, 
Hold on, that's a little big. Let's just size it down a little bit. I'm gonna put this hanging plant. Maybe I'm gonna put this hanging plant. She's testing me a little. Maybe I just size it down one more time. There is also this one that hangs on the wall. It also sort of incorporates the two colors I've been putting everywhere in this room. Maybe that'll work. And then we'll put a little calendar decal on the wall. And then how about the little CD decal? That's cute. Okay, I think that room is done and it's fun and colorful and weird and I like it. And that is the house complete. Ta-da! If there's ever a reoccurring theme in my decor, it's that I love pastels. <laughs> so here is the entryway. Ooh, ah. Look at yourself. And then you come in here. I don't know what's going on with the roof. There's definitely an upstairs and I don't know what's going on there. So try to ignore it. But here's the living room. Ooh. And then you've got the dining room, which is probably my favorite part. Just because I love all the pastel colors coming together here. Very cute. The kitchen. Obsessed with that rug. Got the little built-in office nook. And then in here, we've got bedroom number one, which is very nice. All right, you come upstairs into the bathroom. Oh man, that is a tight squeeze in there. But it works. It all works. Very nice. And then you go into the kids room, which is super cute. But that is gonna be all for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.